All right, let's get to it. Tomorrow's slate's incredible, especially when you mix in the college football that we have. Uh, and it starts out 11 a.m. Eastern when Alcorn State <laughs> heads to uh, Mobile. What is this? The Mitchell Center, I think it is, uh, to take on South Alabama. South Alabama's laying 16 and a half. Now, this is a tricky handicap spot because people have been having fucking mashed potatoes and shit all fucking day. Alcohol, you know, like. It, I'm still laying it though. <laughs> the the uh, teams that stayed home and are on campus, this is like the one day of the year where it's like, yeah, that might not have been the best thing because they're horrible, in their yeah. element. <laughs> yeah, give me a give me Alcorn, give me Alcorn. You know they've actually covered three out of the or two out of the last three, and almost did the other night too. You know the last time they played South Alabama won by forty. I cannot take them. Give me South <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> I, I am not betting this game. Thank God this is not a scandal. Beanick, <laughs> uh, uh, what are you doing here? I'm on South Bama here. Uh, all right. Next, we go to Indiana Providence. Um, and no, no slides were done. Last time they played this game was during the COVID, or you know, prior to us shutting down, I believe. Oh no, that was the this was the COVID year with no fans. Uh, they won by twenty. Indiana won by twenty one. What's this line? Anyone have this line right now? Four and a half. Yeah, Indiana's, Indiana's like favorite. Four and a half. Oh man, I think we should bet Indiana. I'm blocking Indiana. You know, I think we should bet Indiana. Princeton was a dumpster fire in their tourney. UAB was, but in some in a lot of these seventh place games, the team that is better has a better roster pops up, gets one here. I think they blow out Providence. I'm they, with you. Front runner spot. Double lock on the Indiana Hoosiers. Beanick, here's your chance to jump on the arch rivals. Nope. Priors. <laughs> battle. He just won't do nah, it. You, we battle it now. No. Um, I was higher on the Hoosiers than you guys were entering the season. What do you mean? You, I won't do it. <laughs> uh, they're rivals to Michigan, supposedly. I just, right? I just think uh, they need to get out of there. They need to go home and try to fix something that's uh, currently broke. Uh, fucking Dartmouth Ooh. is heading to Chestnut Hill to take on BC spread is 17 and a half. Last time they played BC won by 16, 17 and a half is a big, big number, but I've kind of been impressed with BC this year. But give me Dartmouth plus the points, Mac. Yeah, I, I I think we should bet Dartmouth. BC's coming off the you paid them off the tournament the Boise game, yeah. Back to back buzzer beaters, back to back buzzer beaters in their MTE sleepy spot here. Give me Dartmouth to stay within seventeen and a half. Uh, yeah, lock it. Let's go. Early tip too. Fucking Dartmouth. Uh, three, five, seven. Since you guys are high volume betters, how much do you bet per game? You know, I, I, a lot of times it varies for everybody. Uh, yeah. I try to stay to like 50 or a hundred per game. Like if I feel a little unsure about the game, but I still lock it. Like I still like it. Like fucking Dotmouth would be one example. I would put 50 bucks on that. You know, I put a hundred on ones that I love. And I, I think that changes per the amount of money you have, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it should. Um, yeah. Um, like, I don't know about you guys. And I don't know if you guys want to give a, a take on that, but a hundred. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. pretty, pretty standard. Just yeah. one ten yeah. to win a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I personally, the, the reason why I don't play as many games is I'm still paying off student loans. I went to a fucking private school and got a half ride scholarship when it really was, I was basically paying for full tuition in state. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm betting like 150 a slate, and I usually split it up like a unit size varies for me on a on a night to night basis. If I'm playing eight games, I'll divide my 150 by eight. If I'm playing five, you know, it also matters. Be... It also matters. Like if I've won a what, like today I was up a bunch of money, so I threw in more money on Arizona State. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I like, try to be a little bit more yeah. calculated and keep everything like the same because I'm 
I'm managing it a little bit more heavily. Um, yeah, App I State. am the private school pussy. App is State, Colgate, and Wilmington. They spent their Thanksgiving just hanging out at a fucking Holiday Inn in Wilmington. Um, Colgate's laying one and a half. I think App State can get them. Get, get, give me App State to get this thing done. Mac? Yeah, I I, I I think I like App State here. I think they're more athletic. Um, Colgate, they, I mean, they're both coming off wins, day off here. Yeah, I think App State is the side here. I got the wrong team favored. Uh, Cocktail Napkin has App State minus four. Um, I, I'm going to bet the Mountaineers here. They're closer to home as well. Well, it, did, it flipped through the zero. They started as a favorite, so yeah. I like it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to lock it, though. The CLV has not been Check the picks page. Check the picks page. I'll be on App State. Beaning locking up these Mountaineers of App State. Uh, Next up, Weber State is taking on Bowling Green in Tempe, Arizona, of all places. What a place. Yeah. Weber is laying two and a half. Give me Bowling Green. We were, dude, you guys sprinkled fairy dust on this goddamn Weber State team. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I've been and playing I, good competition. True, but Bowling Green was all right against Michigan, I thought. They, they've gotten stomped in some spots, though, Mac. Weber's like, yeah, er, early, but I mean, they took Irvine to the wire. Then in Hawaii, they led the entire way and gave And, and Utah's line. right there. You're saying we should take Weber. You're saying we should, we should I'm take Weber. I'm locking Weber. Yeah. I'm Lockie Weaver. I think the line's telling you to bet Weaver here. Uh, losers of five in a row or four in a row. Length. All right. All right. All right. You sold me. I'm you sold Weaver. me. I'm this will be a fifty dollars wager if you're wondering, folks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> give me Weaver State. I've been burned on Weaver pretty bad this year. So, Phoenix, you coming? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna lay the points with uh, Weaver, but uh, I'm not gonna play this one. <laughs> Uh, Minnesota Wake Forest down there in Orlando. Wake Forest is laying two and a half. I will lock up Wake Forest minus two and a half. Get this Minnesota bullshit out of here. Vandal has one and a half. Whew. Jump on over, even better. Uh, Mac. Yeah, I think this line kind of does stink, but uh, I'll dive into the stink and bet Wake with you. I trust Forbes <laughs> off the ejection game. To have those guys ready to go today. So I'll bet Wake with you. Wake and bake, says Grant. I agree. Phoenix? I'm going to lay it with Wake Forest, but uh, I'm I'm still playing this one out, Uh, being patient with the Deeks. Uh, They have not been as advertised. They're actually outside of the top 100 in Ken Palm now. Uh, Valpo, the Crusaders are heading in. (laughs) These fucking Crusaders that have been just. They're four and two, and I feel like they've been like fourteen point favorites in all these games, and they're covering. Are uh, heading to D- Chicago to take on DePaul. Wait, is this in Chicago? Yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Um, DePaul's laying fourteen and a half. It all comes crashing down. Crusaders, give me DePaul minus fourteen and a half. Mac, I I, I agree with you. I'll lay it with DePaul. I think they're daring you to take Valpo here. Uh, Beanick, <laughs> isn't this like? The regression game for Valpo, like they've laid double digits in three straight games. Should we Lindenwood, bet? Lindenwood, thirteen DePaul. point win. Yeah, twenty-seven point win against Eastern Illinois. I ain't they shit on all these, by the way. <laughs> I think I think uh, DePaul went twenty plus. DePaul's been money this season. Like good against the spread, good in these games. Uh, and if you want to play the tuck job, DePaul beat Northern Illinois ninety-eight to fifty-two. Valpo beat them by five. Should we bet to Paul? Yeah, let's go. It's the holidays. All right, let's triple lock this. Oh, triple lock on the blue demons. Go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and Ka- Capper's on his blue demons, too. Let's <laughs> oh. go. Mary Mac is taking on Troy one and six. Mary Mac taking on Troy in uh, Troy, Alabama, man. 
I told you I like this Mary Mac team. I just don't know if I like this Troy team too. So I don't know if this is the spot, but I am taking the points. Give me the 11 and a half in Mary Mac. Gosh, I think they're going to catch some teams soon and actually win on the money line. What do you I think, think about, about this one? I'm going to lay it with Troy. Uh, I, I think this is a good spot for them back at home or uh, second street home game. Um, and, and Merrimack, man, they've been on the road forever. I feel like I think they're on the road every single game. Uh, I think Troy opens it up here. Money line Mac locking up the Trojan men. Phoenix. Trojan. What are you doing here? Positive regression begins now for Merrimack. Uh, they're, they're way better than the record. Um, give me the 11 and a half points. Uh, next up, we are going to Binghamton, the golf course. Take it on Niagara. This game's great. At the Kirby Vacuum Sports Center. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Easton, Pennsylvania. Niagara's laying one and a half. Um, the vacuum bet, center where all the action don't sucks. Bet this game. <laughs> Binghamton uh, played them a season ago, one by five. That's because their program's in better shape than Niagara's. I feel like Niagara though is is the play. Give me Niagara minus one and a half. I Mac- think Niagara's the play too. Um, they, I mean, to their credit, they have been chippy in the last couple of games against the Mac, uh, <laughs> Bowling Green and, and Kent. So I think Niagara a little bit better here than Binghamton. No, no For similar here. reasons as Mac. I'm on the Purple Eagles as well. <laughs> Let's go. VMI take it on George Washington, the colonials, George Washington, the colonials, George Washington, the colonials at the colonial Charles Smith, East Smith center What's a revolutionary. What is this line? Yeah. <laughs> 19 and a half fucking points. I, this is ridiculous. Well, I got last time I played VMI, they lost by a thousand. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, VMI's got this. They, they're going to stay within this number. And they, they honestly sure. lost by like 60 points. Um, I'm still taking these points, though. There's not any way I am laying 19 and a half with G-Dub. No luck, though. Mac- I'll lock it. Uh, GW is off the Virgin Islands trip. Um, and, I, and I just think VMI hasn't, isn't completely horrible compared to what they've been the last year. Uh, that that them and Loyola Maryland was a hell of a game the other night. This is way too many points in my opinion. Give me VMI. I don't know. I, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. Money line back locking up. VMI plus nineteen and a half. Phoenix, what are you doing here? Uh, this is G Dub coming back from uh, the Virgin Islands. So uh, I'll I'll fade it, but I am not putting my money on this game. I'll take VMI. <laughs> Get to fade uh, the foreign tours. Yeah. Iona, one in five Iona. Tobin Anderson, the best one in five coach in the country. Taking on one in five Tarleton State. Billy Gillespie has problems with my statement. But uh Iona's laying four and a half. This game is in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think yeah. Iona's the play. I'm gonna lay the four and a half. Mac? Same. I don't love it though. No pet for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not betting yeah, either. Bet- I've I've bet Iona twice and I'm zero and two. I would love <laughs> to play them here, but I'm not. So I'll take the Gills, but can't bet them. Um, Elon is taking on Maine. Elon is laying two and a half. Wait a second. This is at the Palestra. Elon's off the Duke or the not the Duke game. The Notre Dame, Notre Dame win. Dame win. I yep. think we should take Maine plus one thirty five on the money line. I agree. Uh, what what spot did we just have for this? Uh, what was it? Presbyterian, where you you, yeah. you, you win a huge oh, yeah. one Tennessee as a dog out right. Then you're going on the road and you're laying points. Maine all day. Let's go lock. Double lock. Give me these black bears, Beanick. I don't do have a with? tremendous read on this one. Um, I'm going to take Elon because they've played pretty good <clears throat> so far this season. And uh, have a little bit of momentum coming into this game. Uh, I'll, I'll take Elon. I don't. I don't love this though. TCU, Colorado State, Palm Springs. What's this line? 
Um, I just saw this. TCU is three laying. and a half or four. Three and a half. I will lock up TCU minus three and a half. This is one of my favorite plays. Colorado State. There's no way TCU is this bad. Two two games in a row. There's no way. Mac. I, I I think I'll run it back with you as well. I mean, they were what one of eighteen from three. Just make a couple here. Let's Shot go. Forty four percent from the free throw line too. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Double lock on these horn frogs. Beanick? Not quite sure I can get there. I uh, looked into this a little bit more. TCU, 363rd in the country, free throw percentage. Nobody's guarding you. It doesn't matter what kind of competition you're playing. Make the easy ones, and then you can cover a game. Uh, I'll take the Rams. Mm. 56.5%. Mm. It's all tomorrow. Pitt. Is taking on Ohio State in this is an actual home game at that value city yes. place in Columbus. Columbus. What's this line, by the way? Ohio State's laying three and a half. Mm. We're gonna attempt to swing this one. I'll be in Columbus this weekend. Ooh, there you go. I'm gonna lay the three and a half with Ohio State. Mac. I'm locking Ohio State. Shocker. Um like like Noah said, I mean, there's a big there's a big event going on this weekend in Columbus. I think the energy that home court is going to be big time tomorrow for Ohio State. So uh, I think Ohio State pulls away late, kind of like Wisconsin did. Give me the Buckeyes. I'll, I'll join you on this. Let's go. Let's go. I think it's a good spot too. Good spot. Oh, Phoenix, uh, Ohio State. Covers the 21 on Saturday and takes care of business here. Snow is too uh, Don't don't <laughs> you dare try to link in two different uh, you know <laughs> outcomes and two different sports on this uh, pick. What I will say is I don't think this line's. Uh, well, well, I don't get. <laughs> I don't think this line's baking in the Jalen Low injury. For Pitt, he he's a little yeah, nicked up right now, uh, questionable for this matchup. And Ohio State's strength is that backcourt. Uh, I, I I think this is an easy cover. Uh, lock this one up. Oh, wow! He's wow. To very nuts. Easy wow. cover. Easy cover. I'm- they they celebrate way too hard after this win against the, you know, an overachieving Pitt team right now. It, it's not going to matter much for long term for their resume, and. It, Fucks him up. Everybody's a little bit drunk for the game tomorrow, too early, and uh, it come crashing down. Senior sweep for the UM. Now we got a problem. Hey, now we got a problem. Hey, let me tell you something. They can beat Pitt by a thousand tomorrow in basketball. They ain't gonna give a fuck come to Saturday at noon about the, <laughs> yeah. the basketball win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll fair. Wait, triple lock. I'm a little more terrified of this game now that Phoenix all over no. Ohio State. <laughs> this is gonna be Tobin Anderson from the other I, night. I know. I tried. I tried to handicap it as as honest as I could. Jalen Lowe is a, a legit impact and uh n- not being 100 even if he does play is gonna hurt pit i think moorhead states catching five and a half at the wolfenstein center there in cleveland ohio taking on these vikings both these teams suck ass i've watched them a couple times <laughs> give me moorhead the points njit <laughs> give me the points with moorhead what are you doing here I think the points is the play. I mean, you lost to maybe the worst team. Bounce back here. Give me the points. One possession game. Phoenix. Who's Cleveland State to be laying points? I'll take the points. Morehead State wins this outright. How you got What's that? How is, who, who's Cleveland State beat? I see they're four and four. Nobody. When did they pick up four wins? <laughs> no, I think I, they have I, two non D one wins. Okay. Folks, what I want to tell you, the college basketball experience is brought to you by mybookie.ag. MyBookie has been running on SGPN for years. Check out their new and improved website. It's great on mobile. Plus there's props for every game and the live dealer casino is fantastic. Uh, I, uh, I am all over um, my East Carolina pirates tomorrow at home against Navy. Did you see that um, logo they painted on the field? That's, I, that, I that's, did. that's, 
that's pretty sexy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing on my mind, Gene. Was pussy. Um, uh, yes. So get on over there. Head to mybookie.ag. Promo code SGPN for a hundred percent deposit match up to a thousand dollars. Plus, I'm gonna give you a little ten dollar casino chip just to get your beak wet. That's mybookie.ag. Promo code SGPN. We're also brought to you by Rhythm, SGPN's proud partner. Rhythm is the number one AI powered sports betting platform that helps provide bettors of all levels the ability to build custom predictive betting models in seconds and get predictions for betting on money lines, spreads, totals, props. Um, you can copy one of the top performing uh, models from the leaderboard. Still, still cash probably, or you can build your own and have rhythm adjust around that. You can now track uh, the the props in the rhythm app too. They just introduced college basketball on November third. Um, uh, they got college football, NFL, NBA, all that stuff. They got it all. Claim your free seven day trial period today by going to sportsgamblingpodcast dot com slash rhythm. That's R I T H M M. That's sportsgamblingpodcast dot com slash rhythm. All right, we are back. Um, I love a directional. This is when you know you're you, you like, you, you know the real ones, right? That's a pro move, Mac. What, That's a pro when, move. What, what <laughs> do you do? <laughs> he, he's no. probably rocking with some old ass chair, and he just threw. A oh, dude, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to trying to get some cushion <laughs> on here. I'm fucking sitting on that is a pro move. Chair. Yeah, Zach uh, is killing me. It's fucking. I'm just like, God damn. Give me another whiskey. Uh, nor I, I like regional battles. Northern Illinois is taking on Eastern Illinois. Eastern Illinois is laying two and a half. I kind of think we should lock E I E I O here, Mac. They're is one and great? five. I think they're a better basketball team than Northern Illinois. Ooh. And and this is their first D one home game. Um, Good point. Now, having said that, Northern Illinois did beat him by twenty the last time they played two years ago. This is revenge. <laughs> Give me Marty Stevens at EIU. I like. I like. I'm with you. I like the spot coming back home. They're going to get it done against Northern Illinois, who was just on the road forever in that tournament. So let's go. You don't just go down to Charleston, Illinois, to the Lance Arena, and walk out with a dub. Give me these Panthers. I'll lock it up with you, Phoenix. I'm not betting this one, but I'll take Eastern Illinois. I think this is a really <laughs> ugly rock fight tomorrow. Uh, Tennessee Tech, our Golden Eagles. Shout out to GBO Farms. They're heading <laughs> Daniel, to the. <laughs> Daniel changed the lyrics of that fucking uh, nursery rhyme here. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Daniel Katie. Um, Tennessee Tech's at uh, Vandy. That's stupid, Jim. <laughs> It's the worst gym in college basketball. Um, they're catching 22 and a half. Did you ask Byington about that, by the way, Mac? If he's ever coached from the baseline? Prior to um, no, he, met, he mentioned something like that, but yeah, I didn't ask him directly. <laughs> it's That's horrible. Great. Um, <laughs> Give me the points. I'm taking the points too. Damani, obviously, Vanderbilt guy. McLaughlin, maybe Alfred Vandy. Um, I think they have a couple other ones too. Hemingway, I think, is another one. Uh, and Vandy's off that big Charleston tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Phoenix? Little brother. And yeah, Vandy went to the championship in the MTE last week. Uh, first game since. I mean, it's kind of a, a no brainer, in my opinion. It is a fringe lock. Check, check the picks page. It is a fringe lock. West Virginia, Arizona. In uh, the Imperial Arena in beautiful Nassau. What's this line? Arizona's six like and six and a half. I have an awful feeling about this game, FYI. Well, I, I have an awful feeling about any time I bet on Tommy Lloyd, but <laughs> I will bet on Tommy Lloyd. I'm laying it again. Look yes. away, Matola. <laughs> Phoenix, what are you doing here? He says I can't even talk shit to Mac tonight. <laughs> David. Hey, you guys, you, guys uh, us. you should be playing in the championship game. We should be playing Oklahoma in the third place game. Hey, Mac, you go first. Uh I think we're gonna get blown out. 
it's our third, it's our third game in three days and we have no depth. And we're playing Arizona, who wants to play super fast. If you want my unbiased opinion, I would lay it. Yep, that's better. We've overachieved this tournament. <laughs> Third game in three yeah. days now. <laughs> yeah. Phoenix, lock it with me. I've been more impressed by West Virginia this season than Arizona. Of course, I wow. would agree with that. Yeah. I'm going to take the points. Okay. All right. Phoenix. Morgantown, you Um, Pepperdine, New Mexico State. New Mexico State saying four and a half in Tempe. Fuck out of here. I will lock up New Mexico State. This stinks. Oh my God. This stinks, though. I'm still doing it. Dive into the stink. Mac? I'll join you. This freaks to high hell, but I, I, I think that they're better than anybody. Yeah. Phoenix, triple lock, cocktail napkins get it at minus seven. Uh, this one does smell a little bit, but uh, New Mexico is at, at home. I, I know I mentioned that uh, you know no, might it's not in be Tempe. like the it's in Tempe. It's Tempe. Oh shit! Yeah. But that's that's why then I didn't really? account for that. Yeah, I, I, I still think like I would set this at like eight, nine. All right, I don't know. Uh, I'll I'm still- I'll lay the points with New Mexico State. So I, I'm not as bought into it at, at the neutral site. Um, Do you want to lock it with us? <laughs> Make a fucking decision. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll go in. Pepperdine has not been good. Triple lock on New Mexico State. New Mexico State back to back games. Dayton and UNLV. Um, we saw how good Dayton was this past week, and uh, that's a tough road game. That UNLV spot was uh, the uh, Tarkanian's wife, right? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll we'll take the Aggies in this this one here. Bina, can you give me the line on Wichita State, Florida, in Orlando? There, eight and Florida, a half or eight, nine. Yeah. yeah, Florida's laying eight and a half or nine. Yep. Give me Wichita on the points, Mac. Um, I think I think I'm gonna lock Wichita. I, I just like what I've seen from Wichita and Paul Mills here. I, I think they keep this close. I think we get a hell of a championship game here. Money line, Mac, locking up the Shockers. Grant says, You guys are killing me. What's he talking about? About, uh, <laughs> well, how are we killing oh, wait, you? No, this is a semi. Just, sorry, this is the semis. Yeah, not quite championship yet, I don't believe. Uh, Beanick, what are you doing here? I think this is probably the best defense Florida's played this season. Um, and I think it's a good test on a neutral floor ish. Florida's still going to have the crowd. I'm going to lay it with the Gators, but uh, I don't love it nearly as much as I did the wake game. Sam Houston state is taking on UNC Wilmington in Wilmington. The Coliseum there. It's a game. I'm going to take Sam Houston State minus one and a half. I can be talked into a lock here, Mac. Does um, this one smell? I don't Sam think Houston Wilmington's as good. I don't think Wilmington just lost to Colgate, right? I don't yeah. think they're as good, though. And I want, I mean, I guess they're still decent, but. It's, it could be a get right for both teams. They both dropped games as favorites on Wednesday night. Give me a. I asked you because the cocktail napkin has Sam Houston at three. Give me Sam Houston. Uh, I'm not going to bet this one though. Yeah. West so, George or uh, Beanick, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'll lay it with the Bearcats, but uh, you know, I I think it's kind of telling that they're favored here. This is a fringe lock of mine. I'm going to look into it more. Yeah, I missed this game, by the way. NC State, BYU, what is this line? 
California. BYU, uh, BYU four and a half, five. five and a half, five. Locking up BYU minus the points against the pussy pack. Get this shit out of here. All right. Four and a half on Caesars for BYU. Mac? Yeah, I'll join you. I thought BYU looked good today. That was a tough loss. I think they get right here. Let's go. Phoenix, triple lock? I'm on BYU here, uh, but uh, it's Kevin Young's first back-to-back. I, I'm i going to hold off on this. I mean, he's not been a head coach in college basketball prior to this season, so... Can you get me the line on so double lock on BYU? Uh, can you get me the line on West Georgia and Samford? Oh, I just saw this nineteen and a half. Whew. Yeah, I will lock up West Georgia. Yes, plus nineteen and a half. Have you seen these fraud? Uh, Samford wins the last two games. I it's have. Crazy I ass. have. Yeah, too many points. West Georgia lock. 19 and a half with the Wolves. Come how with the Wolves with Dundee and Mac. Phoenix, you finally buying into our boys or are you still hating on these Wolves? I'll take the Wolves here. I'll bet it with you guys. You guys kind of sold me a little bit. I mean, Sanford's kind of played with their food in this home MTE. Cocktail Napkins got it at 16, so a little bit over possession of value here. Yeah, let's take the new D1 team. Welcome to the party. Let's go. Fucking Holy Cross is traveling down to Virginia. They're getting 15 and a half points. <laughs> Last time they played, no, I don't even have that score. It's been, they haven't played in a while, apparently. Um, just ride the system here. Take Holy give, Cross. Uh, of course. Give me the points. <laughs> yeah, give me fringe, the points. Fringe lock. I mean, yeah. Virginia sucks. Uh, didn't we see this game already to a shittier extent? Like, I mean, Virginia is shittier than Wisconsin, but um, I feel like Holy Cross covered against Wisconsin. Wisconsin scored 85. Can Virginia score 85? I don't think so. Um, and Holy Cross scored 61 against against the, the Badgers. So, um I like the points here. I'm on Phoenix? the Crusaders here. Uh, George Mason is heading to Harrisonburg, Virginia. This game's fantastic. Ooh. Both these teams should have great football programs, but one ignores everything. Uh, they're just fucking losers. JMU won by three the last time they played. I'm going to lay it with George Mason here. I think it's a hell of a game. I'm with you. I, I, I'm glad to see this on the schedule. These two should play every year. Um, yeah, give me Mason. Um, Let's I, lock I, this. Let's bet this game. Yeah, I think Mason's a better team, and, and I think this is a little bit of a get-up spot for them going down to JMU. This might be packed, though. It is going to be might be packed, yeah. It is going to be lit, but I, uh, I think Mason gets up for it. Let's go. Phoenix, what are you doing here? Yeah, I think I think the wrong team's favorite. I think James Madison gets the win here. Uh, home court advantage gives them the edge, in my opinion. But Mason fans might make the journey two hours, an hour and a half, two hours. Um, um, Arkansas State's late eight and a half in Terry Hote. It's a lock. Yeah, Arkansas I, don't know. State's fuck them I, I think they're going to win by 20. Yeah. This is still, they're giving Indiana State too much credit. Uh, Ark State, big. Can I interest you in a Howl at the Wolves parlay? <laughs> West Georgia, Arkansas State. Ah, ooh. Werewolves in. Uh, Where'd you guys say Terry this Hope? game was being played? Oh, is this not Terry Hope? Where the fuck is this game at? Nope. Bahamas. Ooh, that's even better, I think. I know. Yeah. Late. <laughs> uh, I still like Arc State. Yeah. yeah. Um,. Yeah, if you were locking this when they were in a true road game, you like it even more now. Um, and I agree with you guys. Uh, Indiana State remains pretty overvalued in the market right now. Offense just hasn't been to the level 
that they were under Josh Schertz and, of course, with all of those players as well. Um, and they play at a super fast tempo, okay? And when they're not hitting their shots and you're running up and down the floor, it just creates more possessions for the opposing team. Arkansas State is going to want to play fast as well. They're uh, of the Nate Oaks coaching tree, Brian Hodgson, and uh, the offense is legit, and I think they kind of run them off the floor. I agree with you guys. Triple lock this one up. The wolf, that's a, that, that means our wolf parlay is intact. Oh, we triple lock both the wolves. Let's go. Speaking of locks, well, we have a game going on in Easton, Pennsylvania at the Kirby Vacuum Sports Center. <laughs> and they decided to the invite always sucks. They decided to invite a fucking shock to the party. The Long <laughs> Island fucking shocks are coming into that vacuum trash arena at the where, where, Eastern Pennsylvania. Okay. All right. The bus knows how to get there. Let me tell you this. Although Black Friday shopping is a concern, it is a fucking concern. But the shocks against these fucking It'll leopards. a lot of traffic for that bus. There's no goddamn leopards in Pennsylvania. All right. I buried a fucking body over there. And let me yeah. tell you, <laughs> the shocks are swimming heavy and the disrespect is still there. They're getting plus 170 on the money line. Dial 1 800 pick Dundee. See at Peter Lugas. It's, it, we're swimming heavy tomorrow. We're swimming heavy in money. Let's go. Mac, it's time to join. Yeah, let's lock this. Let's yeah. lock this. I, I think they have the better roster than Lafayette. They're going to win outright. Let's go. Beanick, you're swimming? Are you going to sit there on the fucking beach watching at the vacuum center? What are you doing? I'm going to take the points, but I'm not swimming. <laughs> this fucking guy. Um, uh, Navy is taking on Penn. At the Palestra. Penn drilled them the last time they played, I think, by like 18 points. This Penn team's kind of ass. And that is why I think I think Navy is live here. Give me Navy in the points. I think they could win this on the money line. Uh, Mac, Navy, what are you doing here? Navy, yeah, Navy. <laughs> Navy's been like kryptonite. How, they, they lost what three home games in a row. Now they're on the road. This could be it. Yeah, I'll take Navy. <laughs> I'll take Navy. Uh Beanick, what are you doing here? Ah, man, I, I think this is – Penn shouldn't be laying six. I, I'm going to take agree. the six points, but Who I don't Penn know be laying six? Like, what? Yeah. yeah. Fringe lock. Fringe yeah. lock with the midshipmen. Yeah. Uh, what's the line of the Santa Clara-Washington game going on in – what's this, Palm Springs, I believe? Washington's laying one. You can what's get lock? either team at plus money. I'm, I'm terrified uh, of this Kings, game. DraftKings has Santa Clara plus one and a half, and uh, FanDuel plus one on Washington. I'm terrified of this game because this is exactly the game that Herb Sendek would lose. Yeah, but I still think we should bet Santa Clara. I had, I had Santa Clara circled. I think they continue the momentum. They they get they get another big win here. Washington's not that good. They just played Colorado State. <laughs> Let's bet on these Bronx. Phoenix, you coming? Phoenix? No, no, I, I, no. He, I'm not gonna. I'm you, not, know, you know we're live right now, right? Yeah, I'm well, not gonna be. Welcome to the show. Swayed <laughs> and and overreacted uh, a drubbing of TCU. I I do think that a non-competitive game uh, helps the team going into their second game, especially Washington playing a little bit more of a closely contested one. But I think Washington uh, has at least a good defense and could, you know, have Santa Clara in a little bit of fits. I, I don't love this game at all. I, and I have no read on Santa Clara right now. I want to like this team, but they have not been consistent for me this season. Gardner Webb is heading into Nashville to take on Belmont. Belmont's laying six and a half. I'm tempted to lock this thing, man. What on Belmont? Yeah, I think I think the line kind of stinks. But uh, Belmont off the Cancun trip, I'll pass. I'll take the points. Yeah. So. 
All right. All right. I mean, both of these teams. If are I'm up Cancun. on the day, I'm I'm pulling the trigger on this. Uh, both of these teams were in Cancun just recently, just this week. Yep. So, um, that, I'm on Belmont. I think they're the better team. The Aggies of North Carolina A and T are making the tough, tough, tough trip. What a game! To Greenville, North Carolina, where they're How catching. Is it? How does it sound? They're catching thirteen and a half, and they think they can play with the greatest team in all the land. And may the Schwartz be with you. And it's right after the football game. So I am a little curious what the, uh, what the attendance will be. Cause if you, you, the amount of drunkenness that happens at football games, I don't know if they will be at the basketball <laughs> game after, um, Mac, be what are you doing passed out on the sidewalk instead. <laughs> I think there's a lot of distractions here. Give me a uh, North Carolina. <laughs> Phoenix, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm on A and T as well. I think that's a bit too many points. And A uh, and T's not been terrible this season. <clears throat> I don't love East Carolina. Uh, East Carolina laying double digits here. Louisville, Oklahoma. What's this line? I think three. Louisville's laying three. Yeah, yeah, you can get three and a half on Oklahoma at Fanduel. I kind of like the Sooners here. Yeah, um, I, like, I, I like the Sooners. I'll, I'll, I'll lock the Sooners. Uh, Louisville's off an overtime game two, third game in three days. So yeah, Boomer Sooner wins in Atlantis. I'm with you. Give me the Sooners. Phoenix. I trust Oklahoma to play a little bit better defense, but I think Louisville has more offensive contributors. Oklahoma, it's it's fears. Uh, they they had um, Kobe trans, uh, you know, c- contribute game one, and then uh, it was like Monty uh, something uh, put up like twenty four today for Oklahoma. But in both games, it's really been just two guys doing the scoring. Louisville, I think that offensive system is just going to be a little bit more trustworthy and Oklahoma could go into a spell uh, offensively and, and a little of dry spell. I'll, I'll lay it with the cards. Um, I think this is a, a statement weekend for Kelsey at Louisville. Purdue Ole Miss in San Diego, La Jolla. Uh, what's this line? Purdue minus four. <sighs> This is a hard one for me. No lock. Give me Ole Miss, Mac. I yeah, I'm 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 sick with Ole Miss. I bet them today against BYU. I'm going to bet them tomorrow again against uh, Purdue. Giving me points. I think it's a one possession game, so you're giving me a couple points of cushion here. I think Ole Miss wins, but I'll take the extra points as well. So Ole Miss, lock it up. My like line, Mac, Mac locking up the Rebs. What's that? No, are you joining them? I like the Rebs death over uh, the the trio of, you know, contributors that Purdue's got right now. They got a couple of things to need to figure out. Ole Miss starts, you know, five seniors. They go six deep of seniors. I, I, I like that rotation a little bit better than the Boilermakers right now. Utah State, North Texas. Um, this game is in Orlando. What's the, uh, the line on this? Utah State's five. lining five. Give me North Texas plus the five. I might bet this. Mac? Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is offense versus defense here. Um, I think North Texas will drag it in the mud and slow them down. I'm, I'm betting North Texas. I'm betting all these games. Yeah, yeah I'll take North Texas with you. I'll jump in on that. Phoenix. I am gonna go the Mean Green. 
Uh, they you cruised in game one, a little bit less of a stress test. I like the mean green in game two. Do you have the line on Lemoyne, Lemoyne, and Manhattan? Oh, um, Manhattan's five, like six, five and a sorry. half. <laughs> Seven and a half? Yeah. Five and a half on Manhattan at FanDuel. You can get a six on Lemoyne. <sighs> Give me Lemoyne. <laughs> <laughs> Mac. I'll Mac. take Lemoyne. Hey, I'll never lay six with Manhattan. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of out there. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Dolphins here. Clemson's laying thirty-one and a half at home at that little John fucking Robin Hood goddamn fucking Robin Hood uh, <laughs> Coliseum. All right, um, little John. You know, they won by 44 the last time they played this team. Oops. They're laying 31 and a half. I will <laughs> lay it. <laughs> Mac. I mean, the spot is all time bad for Clemson. Um, wait, where's they Clemson, South, where's Clemson <laughs> South Carolina on Saturday? Is that in Columbia or Clemson? No, this is in Clemson. This is in Sherwood Forest Ooh. in fucking Little John Coliseum. All no, right? no, I mean the Saturday home game. The football game. No, that's in Clemson. That's in Clemson. Hmm, that might be a buzz saw in there. Um, I'll still take the 31 and a half with Florida AM because they're off the uh tournament win down there in Florida, but I'm not betting this. I think this Phoenix. is a bit too much after a tournament win. I'll take the 31 and a half. Wow. Georgia State's catching 30 and a half in Lexington. Oh, it's not enough. I'm laying it. <laughs> He's been <laughs> drilling these fucking teams. Yeah, I got I got my cover finally against Kentucky. I'm not gonna go against him again here. Yeah, I'll lay with Kentucky. <laughs> North Florida laying three and a half at SIU. At wait, not wait, this is not at SIU. This is in uh, Edwardsville, Illinois. Ooh. Ooh. Where, where? What? Um, uh, North Florida that's laying at, three and a half. That's at, it's at that's SIU. SIU. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What am, what am I talking about here? Um, <laughs> it's at Edwardsville. What's yeah. that last part yeah. of the SIU part of the school? Um, <laughs> Edwardsville is a nice home dog here. I think it's a it's I mean, a good game. This is a good game here. I think we should bet Edwardsville. They've been chippy. Now they're at home as a home dog against a Florida team. I like it. I'm not gonna bet it, but I'll take Edwardsville with you. I can't. The North Florida's been a darling of mine. I don't like fading them. Bad, bad energy for the for. They're cooling yeah. off finally. They're cooling off after their bye game wins. A little bit. I, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, big in both bye game energy rocks. Wins. Both <laughs> bye game wins weren't like. A- after two weeks, we've learned a little bit more about some teams. South Carolina and Georgia Tech don't look like the strongest couple of Power Five wins. Uh, market might be a little bit higher on the Ospreys here. They could drain a ton of threes and win this thing outright, uh, and and cover the spread here. But uh, I'll take the dog. Hofstra's laying two and a half against Rice. Is this actually at Rice? Where the hell is this at? In the Bahamas. The Bahamas. I'm gonna lay the two and a half with Hofstra, Mac. Yeah, they've lost two in a row to Florida State, Houston coming down here. Um. I, I like rice here. The, the, not a strong conviction, though. Beanick? Oh, I, I I like Hofstra getting out of the Houston straight jacket. <laughs> this is this is a good spot. Uh, I'll lay it with the pride. Duke is laying twenty seven and a half at home against Seattle. Lock. Um, they're coming off the loss. Seattle's fucking ass this year. Duke's gonna win by forty. Mac, you currently yeah, I passed on the one. I passed on the one last time, uh, and they beat Wofford by about a thousand. So I'll lock Duke with you. Let's go, Phoenix. You concerned at all with uh, the number one team in the country, Auburn, coming to town next? No, they just came off a loss. This is like one you got to fucking get your shit together. You know, it's a huge sandwich spot from Kansas to Auburn. I'll take the points. It's a lot for a bunch of kids. Northwestern UNLV in the desert in Tempe. What's this line? Four. Northwestern's lane four. I'm actually going to lay it. UNLV look like shit today. 
I, Mac, that's why I think I like UNLV. That's kind of what, yeah, that's kind of what yeah. UNLV does. Now they'll bounce back and play well. Yeah, and I mean Northwestern. I, I still have my question marks about about this team a little bit, and maybe UNLV pops up here and, and gets one. That's my thought process as well. I'm on the running rubs. Are you guys locking this? No. Check the picks page. I, I you, you know it's late in the night. You may I may add it. <laughs> Towson, Kennesaw State, and fucking Canada, in Alberta. Uh, what's this line? Three. Towson's laying three. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna lock Towson laying three. I'll join you. Yeah. Phoenix. Yeah, I'm on Towson too. Um, I don't know if I can get there with a play. Stephen F. Austin is taking on ULM. This is at the. The Ewing Coliseum there. Um, Stephen F. Austin's laying four and a half. Slide stinks. Yeah, give me ULM plus four and a half. Mac? Same, no, no bet. Same though. Beanick? I'm going to go with Monroe. Uh, SFA did not have a good showing in their own MTE. Now they hit the road. Give me the Warhawks. Northwestern State's getting 20 and a half in Baton Rouge. At that Pistol Pete Center. That's a 41 point game last year, and the line is 20. And Northwestern State was better know. last I'm, year, right? I'll no, take they're that back. bad last year. I, they're, yeah. be, they're better I'll take this that year. Back. Yeah, okay. I'm still laying yeah. it. I'm on Northwestern State. Give me the points. Phoenix? I am LC also going to take the points. Crazy triple overtime game. Uh, Beanick, uh, Fig Newton in the chat giving us two dollars for the prostitution uh, situation in Vegas. Um, Northern Colorado is getting twenty one and a half in Lubbock. We gotta, we gotta take these Bears, right? It seems like the right spot, but God, Texas Tech drills teams in that building. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Bears though. Let's go. Northern Colorado, 21 and a half points. Phoenix, you coming? No, nah, I'm going to go to the go back to the Red Raiders. They've had a week off uh, and at home. They've been drilling teams this year. Uh, beat Wyoming by fucking 50. Uh, I, I think it's a, a little bit of a, you know, more of the same that they started the season off with. Uh, Gonzaga, Davidson, and Nassau. What's this line? Gonzaga like nineteen and a half. <sighs> Good lord! Give me Davidson in the points. I'll lay it. <laughs> Seventeen point win. Phoenix. I definitely think that Davidson's more motivated to play this game. Uh, I'll take the Wildcats. Delaware State's getting thirty-one and a half in Austin against Texas. This game's fucking horrible. Um. Fuck this game. Steezy Dubs calling for I'm a laying it. money line. I'm, I'm laying the 31 and a half. Uh, yeah, I'll lay it. St. Bo- or Beanie, what are you doing in that Texas game? I, I'm i going to lock up Davidson. Cocktail and napkins got it at 16. I really do think that there's a little bit of a motive. Exactly. I'm looking forward to play or Providence and they get Davidson in game three. They're probably more, more or less looking to play the game and get on home. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the 20 and a half there on FanDuel. It's, it's a little bit higher than where we picked it. What about this Texas game? Uh, Delaware state. Wow. Okay. St. Bonaventure, Northern Iowa. What's this line at? This is in, uh, Orlando. Bodies are laying one and a half or two, yeah. Give me Northern Iowa to get that dub. I think Mac? I agree with you. The Bonnie Bonnies are young, took the first loss. I think Northern Iowa pops up here and gets it done. Uh Beanick, what are you doing here? I'm gonna take the Bonnies. Um I, I've just been a little bit more negative on the Panthers so far this season. 
All right. UCI, UC Irvine there. The Anteaters taking on Kent State in Canada. It's the championship game. Yep. It's a good game. Great good game. game. Gosh, Irvine's look so fucking good this year. I almost think about it. like my first thought is take the six and a half because these programs are similar. But Irvine's look so good. I'm like, should I lay it? Give me the six and a half, Mac. I'm gonna bet Kent State. I think we get a great championship game north of the border here. One possession game. Kent State mucks it up in the mud. Rob center off. And I think the company have a chance to hand Irvine their first loss. I'll join you. Let's go. Go, go, Kent. Not, not quite the championship game, but uh, probably for the trophy. It's a round robin. Uh, um, gotcha, gotcha. But uh, this is probably the one that means the most. They're both one and zero. Um, I'm on. I'm on Irvine. Give me the Anteaters. Butler, Mississippi State in the desert. What's this line? Mississippi State's playing eight. <sighs> After talking them up, I got to take Butler plus the eight. I know. Uh, Check the picks page. I think well, I'll end up betting Butler by the end. If I'm up, that this, I'll yeah, probably pull the trigger on this game. Yeah. That Mata short turned him and him and uh, Christian's low scoring game. I think we get a dragon in the mud game on both sides. Phoenix. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to take Butler plus eight. I think it's a little bit closer than that. Yeah. St. Mary's, Arizona State, and Palm Springs. What's this line? Um, not out yet. They, right? they don't have one out yet. Damn it! I want to pull the trigger on this. I want to make Beanick have to take the Sun Devils. Yeah, they don't um, have they don't have either game in uh, Palm Springs. Well, you got the Mississippi Wait. Valley State game to end the to end the night. Yeah, that's true. No New Mexico. No. Uh, yeah, Mississippi yes. Valley State is heading to the Thunderdome. They're getting 30 and a half. Disrespectful. <laughs> give, me the, give me the 30 and a half. <laughs> I'll lay it. They're going to get killed again. Santa Barbara wins I'm, I'm by gonna 27. The, I'm going to take the minus 30 and a, uh, 31 and a half here or whatever. Uh, the Gauchos don't. I, I mean, this season so far, they've been in a, a couple of really uh close games and uh I, I think this is their opportunity to really run it up. Uh they won against Eastern Washington by sixteen. They beat Portland by forty. I think this is more like the Portland game than uh the Fresno San Jose or Utah games. Yeah. Uh the people want the hypothetical on the at St. Mary's Arizona State game. So what in the Ken Palm uh lines for both of these games. Uh, and wait, USC, New Mexico. Who's New Mexico playing too? USC, New Mexico. USC. New Mexico's yeah. laying six. On oh, I mean, I feel like I have to take New Mexico, right? But I mean, then, then again, can USC really be that bad offensively two games in a row? I think so. I'll lay it with New Mexico. And what are we looking at yeah, for the I other would one? Take the Lobos here. The other one is four in favor of St. Mary's. Give me the Sun Devils. Money line. Yeah, St. Mary's due for one of these losses. And uh, I think the Sun Devils have been chippy, man. I'll ride them again tomorrow night. Check the picks page on those games as well, guys. I'm taking the Gales. They played really good comp. Like, this isn't a knock against Arizona State or anything. But St. Mary's has played really good competition. They've dismantled a couple of these teams. Uh, I think that defense is pretty suffocating still. They lose pieces and they just pick up right where they left off. Um, Folks, that's our show. Uh, Top plays of the night would be um, I will uh, join in on the Ohio State pit angle. I think that, I mean, I already locked this up, but I'm saying I think that's the play. I also like Indiana against Providence. Those two stood out to me. Uh, And then after that, um, Arkansas State against Indiana State would probably be my third one. Mac Fire. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll go BYU in a bounce back. Oh, I do love that one too. Yeah, Yeah, so lay the points with BYU. 
I, I, I agree with you. I, I had Arkansas State uh, circled as well against Indiana State. I think this is a good spot for them to drill them. And then number three, I had uh, Oklahoma out right over um, – out right over uh, Louisville down in the Bahamas to win the tournament, and Porter Mosier gets a big win, and this could be the year they get to the dance. Phoenix favorite plays Arkansas State. I went into this one, I I, I think good enough in depth. Uh, Indiana State wants to play fast, but I don't think their offense is nearly as good as it was last year. And Arkansas State's offense is really good, and they also like to play fast. So I think that one's a a lot of possessions, and it does not favor the Sycamores there, matchup-wise. Um, second favorite play is DePaul. They've been rolling in the non-conference right now. Uh, tough job for you. Uh, they beat Northern Illinois by 40. And uh, East, or who are the, who the hell, the other team that they're playing only beat Northern Illinois by five. Uh, and then the last one is Ohio State. Eastern Illinois. Minus two yeah. and a half against Pitt. Yeah, Ohio State minus two and a half against Pitt here. Um, might be in the building. Um, and and I think that Jalen Lowe injury is not being factored into this line. Uh, point guard for Pitt, huge uh, factor for their offensive success so far this season. And uh, the strength of this Buckeyes team is their backcourt. So give me the Bucks. There we go, folks. Give Noah Beanick a follow on Twitter at NoahB77 underscore Moneyline Max on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. I'm on Twitter at the Colby D. The college basketball experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. Once again, youtube.com slash the college experience. Folks, we're trying to get to 15,000 followers by January 1st, or we're never going to do the show ever again. So <laughs> you got to help us here. Well, I see the numbers and as much as I appreciate our numbers and they're, they're very good numbers. I also see the amount watching that are unsubscribed, please. If you can, it takes nothing. It's not going to text you to tell you that uh, the, the show it, it just, it literally takes nothing out of your day to subscribe to this half a second. Just hit that subscribe and, and the like button, but subscribe, please do that. All right. Advertisers look at that and that's how we get, the show to continue to roll on. All right. So please by January 1st, it's grab your, grab your sister's phone. You're out at black. If you're going out the black Friday and you're sitting there at a target while everyone's killing themselves over a goddamn PlayStation 10, then uh, you can, uh, it's, I would just let them do it. Let them. And then you can just, while you're doing that, you might see a couple people on the ground with their phones just sitting out. Cause you know, some, People are trying to record that shit. They fall down. Grab that. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Quickly type in, you know, go to the YouTube app, which I'm sure they have. And then, uh, you know, do that. And then you can hit them over the head with their fucking phone. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you. Just just do that. All right? It doesn't matter where you are. If you're hanging out with family, say, oh, Uncle Timmy. Uncle Timmy, you crazy bastard. Give me your phone. You don't have the YouTube app? <laughs> Why not? I'm going to download that thing and then go over there and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't matter. He's whatever. Even, even if you're on, he's not even going to open the app again. It's just yeah. quick and easy and he doesn't even it, know. rig the system. All right. It's America, baby. All right. <laughs> uh, Till next time, folks, this is the college basketball experience. You better start thinking about yours and we are somewhere out of here. Let's go. When I spit my thoughts, you get ripped apart. Save the cookie cutter mother for 106 apart. Huh? Cause of your liquor will I sip your heart. You never dumb it down, dog. If you're smart, I throw out a couple of lines. Fighters are quick to cross. This you get on a dick to lie. Piss you off, pickles. Tits and frauds. Lips and jaws. I use my common sense to see the bitch and all. Good thing you got the market corner. Kids and moths. Rip the bag, drop it as you slip and fall off. Another career spear. Thanks for trying to block. You get an A for effort and an effort. Shut the fuck up. Here's a hint. Put down the mic, you catch a glimpse And keep them eyes wide when you see me Mike I sees them, so when you see him You got a good reason to look Catch a glimpse
A lot of these heads need to improve the improv. Talent's not a program you download the install. Quality spread through hard work, no involved. My fans respect me because I'm genuinely involved. Beyond gathering names to build up my money list. You decide friendships and pounds and suicide and bloody risks. Come equipped or leave empty handed. They don't call me C's for nothing. See the camera, smile, click. Here comes the picture. You act like a child. Manhood don't fit you. I'll break your own style. Don't you a bumper sticker. I never need a gun to lift you. Here's a hint. Put down the mic and catch a glimpse. And keep the eyes wide when you see me. Mike's, I see them. So when you see him, you got to go reason to look. Catch a glimpse. Some of rap's dinosaurs think the corporate fat cats Critique and metaphors and can't afford a new backpack Hit you for the fast track, homie, you better scratch that Need to pay some dues or learn the rules of the mouse trap Holler and mic check, unaccounted for a bounce flat and play it Play on, play it, your game is dated My afraid it cause you hate it Don't claim pop coastal Your crew with the balloons and the ice cream social The industry's a joke, I'm not the only one laughing Fit your neck with the yoke and pursue your passion Last in the race How's the view from behind Away from the front Catch a glimpse Shut your eyes Yes we do Here's a hint Put down the mic You catch a glimpse The college football experience My son sees them So when you see him You got a girl reason to look Catch a glimpse Move along 